Here we have our charcoal going. It's getting hot, it's starting to smoke pretty good, and uh, soon it'll be ready. Welcome everybody to another episode of Julie's Outdoor Oven, where we cook everything outdoors. And I'll be right back with you. So today we're going to make Philly cheesesteak cheese steak casserole in the uh, 12 inch Dutch oven made by Lodge. And I will get started with the beef first. So this is um, top sirloin steak and I've cut it into bite sized slices. And we're going to brown that up. First we'll put that in the oven. As soon as we brown this, then we'll add our other ingredients and I will get those cut up right now. First of all, we're going to cut up some green pepper. We don't need the seeds, so I'll move them over to the side here. We're going to make these kind of bite size. Stir the steak. This is going to be one whole green bell pepper. My knife is very dull. There's one green bell pepper, and we're going to put some red bell pepper in here. Not quite as much, so I think we'll have plenty.
better stir my steak again. Here we have one yellow onion. Put this up into slices. I just bought these knives have hardly even used them and they're not very sharp at all. Stir my steak one more time. Okay, now we'll put the bell peppers and the onions into in with the steak. Let that cook for a little bit. We'll add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. The Monterey uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I'm just going to use the whole thing. And about a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. We'll let that cook for a little bit. It smells really good. Okay, and next we'll mix up some eggs and some uh, heavy whipping cream to pour in there. Okay, so I just took the lid off and I'm going to see if the, the peppers and the onions are softened up at all. They're looking pretty good. Okay, so I think I'll mix up the eggs. Put the cheese in. 
Okay, so next we have four eggs. Here we got four eggs and we're going to put about a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to get uh, some charcoal out from under here for our bottom. Probably about eight of them. Let's see, that's six. start to burn out on me. There's eight. Put this over here. Okay, so we got our bell peppers in there and our onion and our top sirloin and our spices. Next we're going to add some cheese and I have some mozzarella and non-smoked provolone cheese. And I love cheese so I'm going to put it quite a bit. What's a Philly cheesesteak without cheese? That's probably a good two cups. Next we'll add our uh, egg mixture. back on. Add some charcoal. We're going to cook this <clears throat> for about 35 minutes. I'll be back in 35 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes. I think we'll check and see if the egg mixture has set up yet. And we'll see how this is doing. It might need a little bit more time. It's kind of juicy in there. 
It's really juicy, actually. Just on this one side. I think it's done. I'll go get a plate and I'll dish some up and we'll do a taste test. Okay, so since it's juicy on this side, I think I'll take it from this other side here. And you're supposed to let it set up for about five minutes before you start cutting into it, but for the taste test, I'll go ahead and cut into it. for those peppers and onions. Okay, so here we are. That's a Philly steak casserole. We'll give this a try. Okay, so here we are. Got some uh, egg and cheese mixture with a Red bell pepper. Whoops. And a little piece of uh, steak. Mmm. Good stuff. So here we have it. Thanks for watching Julie's Outdoor Oven and we will see you next time. Please hit the subscribe button and, and like my video if you would. And uh, I'll bring you another cooking video as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye.